He was playing on a controller right there. Wait, 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 wait. He was on a controller? There's no way. I gotta watch that clip again. I, I gotta I gotta hear his joysticks. I can see it now, the smoothness in the joysticks. Coming, coming. That's crazy. Push him, push him, push him. Push him. Kill them, kill them. Kill two. It won't work. Kill three, kill them all. I'm pretty amazed that you're, you're a controller Somebody player. Somebody clip that. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Steven, and that is correct. I play Escape from Tarkov using a controller. In this video, I will explain why I do this, what my setup is, and how you can do this too. You can also see how I do this live on stream. I stream every Monday, Wednesday and Thursday from 8pm GMT, live on Twitch, which you can find linked below. The main reason why I do this is because I came from console gaming and using a controller for movement is natural. However, trying to learn keyboard, it was taking way too long. Now, I know that on PC, using a mouse to aim is much better than using the analog stick of a controller. So I searched for a way that I could combine the smoothness of movement on a controller and the speed of aim on a mouse. After scouring the internet for options, I found numerous gaming keypads, but they also meant using keys to move. I then came across something that I thought would work well. It was called the Frag FX Shark by Splitfish. It basically maps certain keys to the sticks and buttons on a minimal control pad. Now this worked for a while until the stick started to malfunction. I then got a replacement, however this one broke too. So I was back on the search again. This led me to find a piece of software called Input Mapper. Now this allowed me to map any key to any button on either a PS4 or an Xbox controller. For me this worked perfectly as I could map any key to the left hand side of the controller and use a mouse in my right hand. Now I know you're probably thinking that this is impossible with Escape from Tarkov as there are a lot of key binds to use. And at the start, this was. It was mainly hard because my mouse that I had had only four buttons on it at the time, which is the Razer Death Adder. And this led me to upgrade my mouse to a Razer Naga, which has 19 buttons that can be binded. This has worked really well for me, not only on Escape from Tarkov, but on any game that I now play. Now, I will take you over to my computer and show you how I've set this up and what keybinds work for me. Okay, first of all, to do this, you're going to need a piece of software called Input Mapper. So if you take yourself over to Google and search for Input Mapper, come to the top one, which is inputmapper.com. Go to their website and you will find the download section. On the download section, you're going to want to go to Input Mapper. And you're going to want to download the top one, which is the newest version, which is Input Mapper 1.6.10. Going to click download, accept the terms, and then click download. When you've downloaded this, and if you're using a PS4 controller, I'm not sure with the newest update if this is still needed, but I have it and it'd be good to use it, uh, which is the exclusive tool. So you're going to want to go back to downloads, go to tools, come down to the exclusive mode tool, the latest one. You're going to want to download it and install it also. Now this is for if you have a new Windows 10 machine. And it'll get exclusive mode running on it so that Windows 10 does not recognize your controller as a controller unless you want it to. 
So download that and install that as well. Okay, so once you have both of those installed, you will have two things like this. We'll have input mapper and exclusive mode tool. So first of all, you'll need to run exclusive mode tool, install it, and then close it down. You'll never have to run that again. Just keep it somewhere safe. Once you get to input mapper, you're going to want to open it up and you'll come with a bit of software like this. Now here you can see that my PS4 is connected and I've created a profile for Escape from Tarkov. Now to set this up, you're going to want to go into the profile section, add a new profile, name it as you like and then you will be opened up with something like this. Now here you're able to either emulate a virtual controller. Now this this is good for if you're looking to play like sports games, uh, platform games, anything that you want to just use a normal controller for. You can tick this and use the controller as a normal controller. Okay, so now to edit the keybinds. First of all, you will need to tick emulate virtual controller which unlocks all of these buttons to be bound. Now you can see that I have L1 which is uh, L1 button which I've got bound to left shift. So here you can click this button and bind it to anything that you want. I have L2 bound to control. I have the sure button bound to alt. I have up on the d-pad bound to Y. I have left on the d-pad bound to Q. I have down on the d-pad bound to X. And I have right on the d-pad bound to R. Now if we go to the analog stick, you can see that I have the stick, if you click it in, which is L3, mapped to V. And then I've got the movement of the stick up, down, left and right mapped to WASD. Now the right hand side, I just have this bound to certain keys, however I use the majority of this, well I use the right analog stick, which I have set as media controls to control Spotify. So it'll skip songs, turn the volume up and down, and pause the song. These The right side I don't use too much, however, because I use a scuff controller, and on the back of the controller, it has paddles. So it's got four extra paddles on the back of the controller. Now, when you map these paddles, you can only map the paddles to key bu or certain buttons, which are square, triangle, circle, and X. So the two paddles that I have on the left hand, I have them bound to square and triangle buttons, which are right and O. Okay, so mainly when I have the controller in my left hand, I'm mainly using only the left side of the controller. So I will, when I'm saving this, I will uncheck the emulate virtual controller and I will press save. That will save the profile for Escape from Tarkov. I will have the profile for Escape from Tarkov running. And then if we have a look, we can see my controller. So let me move this out of the way. So we can see my controller. And when I press anything on my controller, so if I press left, let me see, actually. So I can press left, right, up, down, move the analog stick around, click it in, press down, left, right, up. Everything's mapped to my controller. Press the share button. Now if I press the paddles on the back, you will see that square is pressed and triangle. So it gives me an extra two buttons on my left hand side. So now that we've got input mapper installed, exclusive tool installed, we can now open up Escape from Tarkov and have a look at how I use the keybinds within it. Okay guys, so now we're in Escape from Tarkov. Now if we go to my character screen, you will see that 
I can still move things pretty quickly by holding, if I hold the sure button, which I've now got bound to alt, I can hold that and I can left click my gun and I will auto equip. I can hold control, which is L2, and I can click my mags and they'll all go into my vest. So I rig. Uh, I can then go to grenades, hold control, left click, and I can do this all pretty quickly. So I'm at no disadvantage to speed while looting. Now I'll take you into an offline raid with scavs on and I'll show you some of the keybinds that I've set up and how they work for me. Now we're in an offline raid. I thought I would show you a hand cam and show you how I set this up, how I hold it and how I play. So you've got my mouse which I can aim with and I've got the stick which I can move with. So you can see me moving it with my thumb and you can see it on the controller animation in the left hand side. So some of the things that I've bound is I have left L1 bound to aim. I've then got left mouse as shoot. Forward, back, left, right allows me to move. Clicking in the stick allows me to sprint. Now I did normally have jump bound to L2. However, since I got the scuff controller, which I now have the paddles on the back, and if I press the left paddle, I've got that bound to jump. So I can sprint and jump with that. Now, if I sprint, press the button on the back, I will jump. Okay, I can hold, now on my mouse, I've got the buttons on my thumb. Now a lot of these buttons I have bound to like peak, left and right. A pick up, number one is like pick up stuff. Number two, on, the, on my thumb I can change my sight. Number three is my inventory. So I press it on my thumb for my inventory. Number seven is to throw a grenade. Another button to take out my melee weapon, scroll up and down, switch between on the back weapon and in the sling weapon. Button on the top of the mouse, I can take my pistol out. We can see that Scav Boss is in the gas station. Or maybe that's a sniper. Sniper dead. So things like, if I want to use meds, I can hold in the sure button and press 4, 5, 6 eight, seven, any button combination, which will bind it to these. So out of this, if I hold sure and I press eight, I can use the combat stem. I can press sure and five, use meds. Everything's pretty quick, pretty seamless. And it honestly, you can get used to this pretty quickly. Normal scav. Maybe scav boss. Also, if I Normally with the click and middle mouse, you can free look. Oh, 
有多隐晦呢？哎So, to reload my gun, I just press right on the D-pad. Then when I go prone, I press up on the D-pad. Killed him with that nade that I threw upstairs. So, Luton basically holds L2, left click, straight in the inventory. Hold Alt, r left click, equips the gun straight away. Press 3, get out of the inventory. Okay, so that's basically how I set up how to use a controller and a mouse at the same time playing Escape from Tarkov. Now this can work for any FPS game that you want it to work for. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Please remember to like and share the video. Also, you can see me live on my Twitch channel which is linked below. Any questions on how I set this up or any further questions on Escape from Tarkov, please come over there, please ask me. Uh, I'm happy enough to answer any questions for you that you may have. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.